On Thursday, the right-wing parties likely to form Italy's next government held a final rally in Rome. The polls predict the coalition will be led by Giorgia Meloni, leader of the Brothers of Italy, a party rooted in the fascist activism of the 1940s. It's predicted to get 25% of the vote. The party has promised to take Italy in a new direction, with populist positions on immigration, relations with the EU and the economy. Brussels is nervous Italy may soon join Hungary and Poland as perennial rule breakers. The town of Ascoli Piceno is three hours drive east of Rome, provincial and proud of its picture postcard old town. They used to vote for the left here, but in 2019 voters elected Marco Fioravanti from the Brothers of Italy as their mayor. The region is expected to vote the same way on Sunday. He says Italians have nothing to fear from his party. If we win on 25th of September, we will reinforce democracy. In the last 15 years, Italy endured a shortage of democracy, unelected governments. This worries us. It was like a dictatorship. Brothers of Italy will defend democracy, freedom and people's rights, so the risk of fascism simply doesn't exist. The party has tried to soften its image, focusing on the cost of living, with promises of tax cuts and slashing bureaucracy for businesses. Its opponents on the left warn the party's attempt at a moderate makeover, mask its authoritarian leanings and conservative agenda. I fear our civil rights are being jeopardized. In this region they try to put limits on our civil rights and if Giorgia Maloney wins, she'll try this on a national scale. She will threaten our freedom of expression. But the left is divided and weak, and there is desire for change. The left had the opportunity to run the country a few times, but they totally forgot about leftist values helping workers, pensioners and the most vulnerable. That's why the right has so much support. Italians tried to put in charge what I would call a fake left and as a result, here we go, we are back again to the right in power. Giorgia Maloney's room for radical change may be limited. Italy desperately needs $200 billion worth of post-Covid emergency funding promised by the EU. If she lurches too far to the right, that money may be withheld. If she wins on Sunday, she may find that being in government is a lot more complicated than being in opposition, and for some Italians, that will come as a relief. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World, in Ascoli Piceno, Italy.